Listen, if you're in the service business or you're a coach, consultant, service provider, and you're not doing events for your business, you're making a huge mistake. I wanna to talk to you about why we basically have an event division and it supports one of our main consulting businesses in building community, building more content for ourselves, having more conversations that are getting shared through social media so then we can have more conversions, which technically uses a method that we use in, in the four pillars, which are the C4, which is content, conversations, community, and conversions, right? So the number one reason you wanna have events is because you want to bring people together. After what happened a couple of years ago, nobody got to see each other and now events are better than ever. People want to build that community and just getting a Facebook or a Discord group is really not just enough. People wanna be out, they wanna communicate, they wanna connect, they wanna share their problems and build relationships with new people. So that's number one. Number two, it's the best place for you to create content. So in our events, we always speak and we have the best speakers in the world in their business and what they do speak as well. So you see connection, you see conversations, but the best thing is it gives us weeks and weeks or maybe even months of content. Right, so rather than just shooting stuff like this, we spent two full days shooting content inside of our event, which is amazing because it goes out to all our social profiles and it creates authority, branding, especially when we're actually at the event and we share all that with the network, people start to inquire on our DMs, on our email list, hey, what is this? How can I get involved? What do you guys do for, for work? Uh, we own the consulting business, it helps service businesses grow, it helps a company sell their business, et cetera, stuff like that, right? So if you're not doing that, you need to start doing it. And you don't need to start doing something big. The best way to do it is to just make some posts on your social media, you know, create something at a particular price point that fits your business model and bring in 10 to 40 people at the beginning. You wanna do bigger events, that's a totally different story and I can make a video about that. But this is how to create revenue content and build a community um, by doing smaller events. The reason that small events are really good too is because you get to connect with people in a deeper sense, right? If you're going to a 500 person conference, you're talking to your neighbor, you're talking to the dude or lady that you sat with at lunch, but you're not really making connections with the owner. You kind of have to, you know, take a different approach to that. That's why people buy VIP and stuff to be closer with those people. But instead with this one, you're in a small section, you rented a space or you have your own office and they get to see your office, they get to see that it's real, they get to see your team, they get a bigger sense of connection with you and then you're also giving them the transformation that they need in their business by going with them and helping them out and if it's a small event, you can kind of sit down with them and be like, let's look at your business, boom, 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 and like help them out inside of their business. So you're connecting with them, you're giving yourself authority, you're creating content, you're creating revenue because then you can upsell them to services, consulting, whatever it is that you do, and you're bringing in a group of people that really, really are telling you and raising your hand that they're the most interested in being a part of what it is that you sell or provide, right? So I want you guys to think through, how can I start setting up small events in my area? You can geo-target a city and do it in Orlando or Atlanta, wherever it is you live. You can also send out mailers to a particular sector that you might be able to buy through like Newsmax or something. You can also just run ads and see if you wanna do a bigger thing and have people fly in. Or if you already have an email list or social media, you can present it on that, make a training, do, do a live on your TikTok or whatever it is, and have a limited space. If you create limited space, then you're creating something that's like confined and like it's it's got a limited time, limited space, uh, limited seating. So you're basically already giving them something that's like, all right, there's not too many people and I don't have a lot of time. So you can start with a small group and then expand from there. So tell me here, down here, if you're going to actually do something like that and what you wanna do, I'll reply to everybody that asked the question. And if you like this kind of content, share it, subscribe, share it with a friend that wants to see stuff like this. And if you want more videos like this, just join the notifications so you know when we're shooting new content and you can see it first. Bye.